Hello friends, you're watching Gate Helpline and in this video we'll see Gate 2021 CSIT set number 2 question paper. So friends, in this video we'll going to discuss question number 8 from journal aptitude section and then we'll see the explanation to this question and later we'll see the official Gate 2021 answer keys. So friends, question number 8 is the number of students in 3 classes is in the ratio 3 is to 13 is to 6. If 18 students are added to each class, the ratio changes to 15 is to 35 is to 21. The total number of students in all the three classes in the beginning was and the options are A22, B66, C88 and D110. So friends, if you also want to download the same question paper along with the official answer keys, please check the description below this video or you can click on the above link as well. So friends, let's start the explanation. So for explanation, We'll just go to our dashboard area. So friends here, I had already copied the question for the sake of saving some time. So friends, the question given is the number of students in three classes is in the ratio 3 is to 13 is to 6. So your ratio hai, three classes ke students ka, wo ratio hai, 3 is to 13 is to 6. If 18 students are added to each class, ab agar hum 18 students ko har ek class mein add karenge to the ratio changes to 15 is to 35 is to 21. So the ratio changes to 15 is to 35 is to 21. So friends, the total number of students in all the three classes in the beginning was. So, the total number of students in class ke beginning mein, wo hume batana hai. Jo total number of students in all the three classes. Okay. So friends, ratio at beginning is equals to 3 is to 13 is to 6. So friends, one thing is there that whenever a ratio is given, this is obvious that there is something common between the values. That's why we have reached to this ratio. So, just let the common value as x. So, there should be something common between these three values of the total number of students of the three classes. So, that common value we are taking as x. And in this question, we are just concerned in finding the value of x. So once we have the value of x, we can simply multiply this value of x to these three values that is 3, 13 and 6 and then simply add them and we will get the total number of students in three classes in the beginning. Fine. So let's start finding the value of x. First, we will take the x into consideration. So this ratio will become 3x, 13x and 6x. Okay. So we had multiplied the value of x to these ratio and in the next stage given in question is 18 students are added to each class. So this will become 3x plus 18 is to 13x plus 18 is to 6x plus 18. Okay. So once we have reached here given in question is the ratio changes to 15 is to 35 35 is to 21 so friends now what we'll do we'll simply equate the values that is i will just take this value and this value and i'll equate it with 15 is to 21 so as ratios are simple i'll just try to equate and the reason of taking 3x plus 18 and 6x plus 18 is we have 3 as common multiple with these ratios so it will be easy for the calculation and I will recommend you if you also use this kind of calculations in exam as well. So just try to find what are the options you have and what kind of calculation will make your solution easy and save some time. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll just write 3x plus 18 is to 6x plus 18 is to 15 is to 21. Okay. So, what this will become, this is in the P by Q form. So, what we are going to do here is, we will just simply cross multiply this. So, it will become 21 and here it will be 3x plus 18 equals to 15. Inside it will be 6x plus 18. Okay. So, friends here, in this expression, the highlighted one, what we need to do is, we'll just simply 
take out the common factors and simply remove those. So 21 and 15 is having 3 as a common factor. Okay, so the next equation will be having 7 on the LHS and 5 on the RHS. Similarly, from the bracket values as well, we can take out the value of 3. So this will become x plus 6 and this one will become 2x plus 6 and 3 will be taken out from both the sides. So we will remove that 3 as well. So the resultant value will be 7. Inside we will be left with x plus 6, RHS will be 5 and 2x plus 6. So friends, here we have nothing done any special to this equation. We have just taken out 3 from here and one more 3 from this value. Okay. So if you have any question or any doubt on this calculation, please let me know in the comment section. So we are left with this. So next step is simply we will multiply these values. So it will become 7x plus 7 6 the 42 equals to 5 2 the 10x plus 5 6 the 30. Okay. So the next step will be this 7x from LHS will be shifted to RHS. So it will become 10x minus 7x. So that will be resulted to 3x okay and this side LHS will become 42 minus 30 so 30 from RHS will go to LHS so it will become 12 okay so now we are left with the value of x so value of x is 12 upon 3 that will be equals to 4 so the value of x is 4 so friends we have won the race here so we got the value of x. Now what is left is, now we just need to put the value of x into the equation which we have told you earlier. That is this one at the beginning one. So that is 3 is to 13 is to 6. So here we have already kept the value of x, this one. So simply we will equate it and do the addition. Okay. So I'll just write this one here. Total number of students in the beginning was. Okay. And it will be 3 into 4 plus 13 into 4 plus 6 into 4 equals to. So friends, this will be 3 fours are 12 plus 13 fours are 54 plus 6 fours are 24. So once you add it, it will be 88. So friends, answer to this question is 88. So the total number of students in all the three classes in the beginning was 88. So let's go to question and see if we have any option which is having value as 88. So friends option C is having 88. So the answer to this question is the answer is option C. So friends now we'll quickly go and check the gate official answer keys as well. So this is set number 2 and friends for question number 8 answer is option C. So friends if you have any doubt or question regarding any part of the solution please let me know in the comment section. So friends thanks for watching please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.